Here we go, guys. The top 10 cards in my Jeff Airtime card collection. These are all high-end, rarefied aired cards. And I just wanted to mention before I get started, the two content creators that really inspired me to make this video. I watched their videos within the past couple of days. Scani Tradition and Silver Jackify. Uh, they showed some awesome cards. They're, they're top 10. Um, actually, I believe top 20, Silver Jack 5, mid top 100 cards in his collection. And I'm going to link those two videos specifically below if you like looking at awesome, awesome cards. I love always look enjoy looking at cards I haven't seen before. So um, that's what prompted me to make this video. All right, before we get to my top 10, I'm going to give my honorable mentions real quick. You guys know I'm a huge golf fan. So we have a Bryson DeChambeau Leaf uh, 1 of 1 from... 2018 Leaf Executive Collection, same Executive Collection for a uh, Justin Thomas JT autograph card, same year. And finally, Jordan Spieth. This was actually my favorite one. It's a 2014 Leaf one of one Jordan Spieth and Dustin Johnson dual auto one of one. Uh, besides them, I'm a huge goat collector. So Simone Biles, this is her Sports Illustrated Kids Authentic Auto. If we can get it to focus. There we go. From 2014. Likewise, from Sports Illustrated Kids, Usain Bolt autograph. This is from 2008. And the, Usain Bolt, the fastest man alive, just does not sign anything. Very hard to get his autographs on anything, let alone a, a sports card. So that's his rookie card from 2008. I have a Alex Rodriguez, Al uh, excuse me, Artist Proof from 1994 uh, Sport Flicks. This is the Artist Proof version. And finally, from the honorable mentions, my only SGC slab. Um, I know I'm probably not in the majority on this, but I like the the old SG slabs, not the uh, bow tie look from 2012 Leaf. We have a triple auto of Carlos Correa, Javier Baez, and Frankie Lindor, and that's graded Gem Mint 10 or 98. All right, that's going to be the honorable mentions. Here we go, the top 10 cards, high-end cards in the Jeff Airtime PC. Mike Trout. 2011 tops update uh this is the gold version number two 107 out of 2011 focus there um i know if you're looking for mike trout right now the recording of the time of the recording of this video they're at an all-time low really of his prices so now might be the time to jump on mike trout uh number nine uh tom brady this is from 2000 FLIR Autographics. This, of course, as you can see, shows him in his Michigan uniform. On card auto right there. His autograph really hasn't changed too much over the years, but that's really one of his, or his earliest ones right there, Tom Brady. I am showing these pretty much in uh, monetary value order. Uh, number eight. Number eight, Michael Jordan. This is a star rookie, 1984-1985 star. Uh, if you don't know the story behind these, these cards, uh, real quickly, there was 5,000 sets of each, each produced. No, uh, no company had a license to uh, issue and print basketball cards from 1980. Four through 1987, so Star stepped in and got the license. Uh, the only problem was they didn't really have a, a way to mass produce, uh, mass distribute these, so they didn't produce a ton. They uh, produced 5,000 of each set. They're said to be approximately half that in existence today, with half of that being graded. Uh, there's a little over a thousand on file with BGS having been graded, and about 200. On PSA, and some of them have been crossovered, so they're not out of the BGA system. Uh, long story short, it's a very, very rare card. This one is a BGS three and a half, although I think it might. It, although it says seven and a half, eight, six and a half, two and a half is the subgrades. I don't know how they come up with three and a half. 
However, I don't even think it's as good as a three and a half because you might not, you know, there it is. It's a crease going across right there. So I don't know. Um, I think it's overgraded compared to this next card right here. BGS for Michael Jordan. Uh, same card, rookie. Star card number 101. This card looks I, immaculate. Awesome centering, which is is really the biggest issue with these cards. Uh, in fact, they give it a centering is an eight, which which is probably pretty accurate. Edges eight, corners four and a half, surface three. I don't know how they came up with such a low surface. I've seen many PSA cards graded higher than than this that are not even in close to as good a condition as this. So it's it really speaks to the inconsistencies of BGS's grading. This one's a three and a half. This one's a four. However, I wouldn't give this more than a one or a two if, if grading. And I would give this one at least a seven or an eight. Just looks gorgeous. Um, really nothing, nothing wrong of it. You see the, the copyright trademark uh, right down there, 1983, 1984, um, for Michael Jordan's rarest rookie card. Yes, it's 86 Fleer, uh, still considered a rookie card by many collectors. But um, I, I really see the growth uh, potential highest uh, for the star card, just basically due to, to the rarity factor. All right, moving on to number six. Number six here, Shohei Otani. Now, this is the only card you'll see here that I have a super high grade in, where you might say I bought it for the grade and not the card. But it's really not true. I bought it before the Otani hype, and this was the only fire rookie auto I could find. And it just happened to be graded a Beckett uh, Gem Mint 9.5. Uh, the only thing that's really less graded, less than that, 9.5 is the corners that got a 9 on this card. Um, but Shohei, um, I, <laughs> you might get a few people to argue, but it's, it's hard to say he's not the GOAT, the greatest of all time baseball player, because... Um, what he's done on both sides of the ball, both offensively and pitching, is just it's just never been done before. So, uh, yeah, that's Shohei Otani's uh, autograph rookie card from, oh, I probably didn't even mention it, is 2018 Tops Fire. Moving along to the top five, Albert Pujols, Leaf, Rookies and Stars autograph rookie card. The Leaf Rookies and Stars from 2001 was really a premium set. I wanted to get this graded at National, but the lines were just insane. Uh, this is short printed to 50 cards, only 50 of these made. And this is Albert Pujols' earliest uh, autograph card. You can also find it, a Bowman card, but there were just more of those. Uh, manufactured. So Albert Pujols, 2001 Leaf Rookies and Stars autograph rookie card. Number four, number four, 2001 Upper Deck Goff Tiger Woods Players Inc. Auto. You'll see this is the old PSA slab. I bought this a long time ago. Uh, this is graded a near mint eight by PSA. I've been thinking about getting it reholder. Uh, uh, just to have the new slab look on there, but um, still a beautiful Tiger Woods of possibly, arguably, the GOAT golfer. SP also made a fantastic Tiger Woods uh, autograph rookie card this year in 2001, um, but for me, I always preferred the, uh, the, the 2001 uh, Players, Inc. version. All right. The top three forthcoming. Here we go. Michael Phelps, the most decorated athlete of all time in the Olympics. This is his 2005 Ultimate Signature Edition. These were just a handful of these were given out at the uh, Hawaii Trade Show Conference back in 2005. This is Signs of the Time, Signs of Hawaii, excuse me. Um, produced by Upper Deck, and you'll see it right here, serial number 3 out of 10. He's on the card with uh, Matt Biondi. So this is his earliest uh, rookie autograph. Oh, and it's a graded Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10. 
Number two, this is one of my most recent pickups, 2000 Playoff Contenders. Iconic card, it's really uh, transcended the, the football collecting industry. Uh, this one is graded Authentic Auto 9. Um, these cards, like every card, is just has been coming down this year. I, I, no way to sustain the crazy prices uh, that these were going for about a year to two years ago. But still, uh, Tom Brady's not, I take that back, not his best. The best would be a championship ticket, which is number uh, to 100. So technically, this would be his second best card. Um, don't ever buy this card in raw version. You can see right here, there is a stamp right here on the card um, that you always want to look for. If you're buying it raw, but I would advise. The rookie ticket contenders, Tom Brady, autograph card. And here, the number one card in my collection, like the Pujols, this was also a card I was intending to get graded um, at National, but it'll just have to wait for another day. This is the 2000. Net Pro, Serena Williams, serial numbered 76, the 100. Just like I was mentioning, the, the Tom Brady championship ticket has a serial numbered version to 100. This is what this basically is. Net Pro had a version listed to uh, printed to 100. You'll see similar cards to this where it's printed to 500, where it's just the relic part or just the auto part, and they're printed to 500. These ones are 100, and it has a swatch, a dual patch swatch, and her beautiful autograph card. Now, all the cards I've seen graded on 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 this, all, any of these Serena cards I've seen graded have been graded 10 because they did a great job of um, having her sign in black sharpie. The last recorded sale of this card was in March, and I'm bringing up that for you right now. And it went for a golden auction, $120,000. That was a golden auction back in March. Now, of course, like I was mentioning with the Brady card and all the other cards, prices have certainly gone down from March. So I don't know if it's a six-figure card anymore, but I tend to doubt it. Um, there was nothing special about this card. It was just one of the 100. Uh, you see it was only graded a near mint 7, auto 10, as uh, as I mentioned, all her autos really are 10 just because of the black Sharpie she used. So this was a 7 uh, that went for six figures back in back in March. Um, and you see at the time, it said highest sale for any women's sports card of all time, um, which I don't know if that'll ever be beaten. Uh, Serena is clearly the GOAT in terms of women professional athletes. Uh, men, there you can make an argument for five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, athletes being the goat, but there really is no argument. Serena Williams for the greatest athlete of all time. So, Serena top tops the uh, the high end PC top ten for uh, my collection in 2022. I want to thank you all for. Uh, for taking the time to watch and again i'm going to leave the links if you like these cards check out some more awesome cards pc collections of high-end cards from scani tradition and silver jackify i'm going to leave them uh links below uh thanks for watching and have a great great day